Hey everyone, I'm Kate Schwinky and welcome back to my channel for a fun new review. I'm especially excited about this one today because I have been wanting a robot vacuum for the longest time, probably since they first came out. But instead I've been buying Bissell and Dyson and things like that because I personally, I do enjoy vacuuming to an extent, but I don't enjoy vacuuming every day. I have three boys, a husband, a cat, and a dog. And my dog is the main reason why I bought this new Shark AI Ultra 2-in-1 Robot Self-Empty XL. And that is a mouthful, so I'm probably only gonna say that once. <laughs> I have a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and she is white and she sheds heavily year round. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but we have very dark wood floors. And so trying to keep up with her heavy shedding every single day is, I, I can't even explain how annoying that is. So. <laughs> So I convinced my husband to get this for me for Christmas. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to unbox this. I'm going to set it up. I'm going to try it. And I have hardwood floors, tile, and carpet. And I'm hoping to be able to catch it in action on all three surfaces so you guys can see just how well it works. One of my favorite things about this vacuum is that it actually doubles as a mop. Like, that's amazing. I hate mopping. <laughs> So if this can do it for me, like I'll be able to have so much more time to do other things than cleaning. So before we get started, I wanna go over the packaging on the box because it has all of the information you guys need to know about this vacuum before we get started. The Sharp AI Ultra 2-in-1 Robot Self-Empty XL has powerful vacuuming with sonic mopping as well. It has a true HEPA bagless self-empty base and it says you can forget about vacuuming by yourself for up to 60 days. You have an ultra powerful whole home vacuum it picks up dry debris on floors and carpets and an ultra powerful vacuum and sonic mopping on hardwood floors. It has ultra smart AI laser navigation, 360 degree vision. Using the app, it quickly and accurately maps your whole house. It can clean day or night. This vacuum uses ultra clean, which cleans back and forth, side to side, and it picks up dirt from every angle. Clean Edge uses blasts of air and corner recognition to remove debris from corners. It's also voice controlled and it works with Alexa and Hey Google. So that is basically what this vacuum is and I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and open it and see what's inside. Just wanna say this box is actually pretty heavy. So I was really surprised when it arrived and it was as heavy as it is. On the very top here, they give you the quick start guide and the manual and all that right off the bat, which is nice. I'm gonna need that as I set this up. So there's that. All right, here is the vacuum. And as I mentioned, it does have blue tape on it, but this is what the unit looks like. This is the top. Oh, it's a bit heavy. <laughs> and that is the bottom. At the very bottom of the box, there's this, and this just has all of your parts in it, I guess for when you're mopping, because when you're using it as a vacuum, it's gonna use different pieces than when you're using it as a mop. So when you decide to use it as a mop, you'll have to remove some things and attach some things to make that happen. But here's the mopping pads, which are machine washable. I'm so excited about that. It feels nice, it's like, it's almost like a little microfiber cloth. That's what it looks like. And it says underneath here how to attach it. So we will go over that much later on in this video. Those were some little bristles. I think they're extra cleaning bristles for the bottom of the vacuum in case they get damaged or something. Ooh, this is the solution. So when you buy this vacuum, you will get a little trial bottle of solution, but you're probably gonna have to buy a much bigger one. There it is. So this is the Shark Vac Mop Cleaning Solution. This one is for use on tile and hardwood floors. It's multi-surface. So that's perfect since I have both. Let's go ahead and build this. 
So the first step is to set up the landing mat. So we have the round piece here and the rectangular piece here, and they literally just snap together. It looks really simple. One. Do you have to apply a little bit of force? So in the instructions, it says that you need about three feet on each side. So I picked the blankest wall in my house, <laughs> which is in my dining room. Um, but that's great because this is actually where I wanted this to be anyways. So I have the landing mat. It feels like it has some anti-slip stuff underneath. I do want to mention I haven't vacuumed in at least four to five days. So there is dog hair, cat hair, everything everywhere. And I cannot wait to see how well it picks everything up. The next thing to do is to grab your little bristle cleaner thing to go underneath the vacuum. So we're going to flip this over. And this looks like it just goes right here. Okay, clipped right on. Next thing to do is to put this guy over here, but I'm gonna get my cord out from here and plug this in first. Okay, it's on there. It doesn't look like it's gonna budge. I'm excited. <laughs> And then it says to place this on the dock, so here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure that I put it in the right way. I think it goes this way. It lit up. I don't know if you guys can see that. In the instructions, it says to let it charge up to 100% before. <laughs> Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> that was really loud at first. I'm not sure if it's because it was the first time it's ever hooked up to the vacuum, um, but it just made a lot of noise. Um, it wasn't like super loud, but it was unexpected. I was not expecting that. Back to what I was saying. It says to have it fully charged within about six hours before you use it. So today, um, right now it's showing that it's completely dead. So I'm probably gonna give it like maybe three hours to charge because I only have a certain amount of time today to film, unfortunately, but I think I'm gonna give it up to three hours. And then after that, I'm gonna try it out because that should be plenty for it to do what I need it to do in this video. Now, before you can even use this vacuum, you need to download the app, it's called Shark Clean, and then you need to sync your vacuum to the app. So you're gonna download the Shark app, I have it here, and as you can see, I've color-coded everything to my own colors, but when you download this app, it will be a royal purple color. So we're gonna click that. This is what's gonna pop up. We're gonna say, get started. We're gonna select robot. These are all the different ones you can choose from. But it looks like ours is right here. So we're gonna tap that one. Continue. It looks like you can name your robot, so I'm gonna do it later. Okay, we're gonna start. We are already doing that stuff. We're going to allow. Start. Press and hold dock and clean buttons. I am ready to connect to Wi-Fi. Awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and click next. Okay, next. Click my network, next, enter your password, connect Wi-Fi. Okay, we've connected to the internet and it says it's ready to start building our map. So right now it's showing I have a 30% charge. I'd like to get up to at least 60% before I use this for the first time. Hey guys, it's been about three hours and now we are at 60% power. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting this started. So I'm gonna click get started and we're gonna go ahead and get mapping. I'm excited. Probably not gonna map my entire house on 60% battery, but we'll see. So it's prepare your space. This is important so robot can map your home accurately and without disruption. So we'll see how that goes with all my camera equipment. <laughs> we're gonna start. Open interior doors and remove obstacles. All right, let's get started. Start, explore, run. Whoa, that's so cool. Look at it 
go, you guys. It's off to clean my dining room. <laughs> and it's already starting on my ruggable rug. And it's underneath my table. We'll get a better angle. So right now it is navigating underneath my dining table in between the chair legs and things, which is fabulous. Oh, where's it going? It's wandering, you guys. Going somewhere else. <laughs> Once my vacuum was done mapping the entire house, I went to work sectioning off and labeling all of the rooms in my house. I also took this opportunity to put in no zones as well as high traffic areas. Now that we've done the initial mapping of my house, we're gonna go ahead and run my very first cleaning with this robot vacuum. I can't wait to see all the stuff it picks up because like I said, it's been a few days since I've cleaned. <laughs> so there's probably hair and dirt and all that stuff everywhere. And after we try out this vacuum for the very first time, we're also gonna try out the mopping feature. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and push my button. It should be pretty quick to start. And there, there it goes. <laughs> So my vacuum is all done and it's returning to the dock. I think it wants to come this way first though. <laughs> it does a really good job of finding its way all the way back to its dock, so that's really cool. to make that really loud noise that I wasn't expecting the very first time and that's basically it's hooking itself up to the self-empty tank and evacuating all its stuff so Now that it's all done emptying itself out, I'm going to see how much is in here. So I'm just going to push the top button on the top of this canister here and that's going to release this. And I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to take this over to the trash can and see just how much stuff we picked up. So to release this, you're just going to press this button directly over trash can. Let's see how much stuff we got in one day. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Holy cow, I was not expecting that much. Like, look at all this, you guys. Like, this is only half of it. Whole, well, here, here's the whole of it. Look how much hair. Oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta show you guys this up close. Look at all this. That came out of my carpets, off my tile, under my couch. Oh my gosh. I'm grossed out, but at the same time, like super impressed with this thing. That, that's crazy. All right, I'm gonna go stick this right back into the unit. Now that we have the whole house vacuumed, I'm going to try out the mopping feature. I'm super excited to see how well this works. So what we're gonna do is we're going to remove this back bin here. 
which is the dustbin. And in its place is going to go this piece, which has the removable pad on it, and this is washable as well. It also comes with an extra one, so if you need to wash one and then use one too, then you can do that. So this is what it looks like on the very front here. You have, if you wanted to just use water, you could. If you wanted to use water and the solution, you would fill up the water line here and then fill up the rest of it here with your solution. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna just pop up this little tab here and this is where we are going to fill the water up. And I'm probably gonna use some hotter water because I feel like hotter water does a better job of picking things up when you're mopping. Turning it down a little bit. Go ahead and fill it up to the water line. So I've got the water line filled up, and then I'm going to fill up the rest of the way with the solution, which is this bottle right here. And this does come with your unit. So let's go ahead and fill it up to the vac mop cleaner line. <laughs> Making a mess. Close it back up. Next, we're going to take this and insert it right back into the same place that we got the dustbin from before. clicked into place. So now we should be ready to mop. So today my main focus is going to be cleaning my kitchen area where all the tile is because that is where the worst of it is, I promise you. This back door, we have kids running in and out, dogs running in and out all the time. Even my cat goes out sometimes. But we also get food, dirt, grass. I mean, there's, there's all kinds of stuff on this tile today. So we are going to try out the shark and see how well it does. Let's get started. So I just wanted to show you the state that my tile is in. There are stains, there's pieces of grass and things. Um, so I'm curious to see how well the wet vac takes care of that. It did a fabulous job. Look how shiny my floors are. I'm impressed. Okay guys, it's the moment of truth. Let's see just how much dirt came out of my eating kitchen. Now, my eating kitchen looks super duper clean now. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I'm gonna go ahead and detach this first. Check the dustbin next. There's actually quite a bit of dust down in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo this first because I don't know what it looks like. So there you have it. And I will put it next to the clean one so you can see the difference. Clean on the right. So you can see a huge difference in how much dirt it picked up and scrubbed off of the floor. And then you guys saw what was in the dustbin. So woohoo! I'm happy. <laughs> so the big question is, should you spend your money on this vacuum? Is it worth it? Because this is a high priced item. I want to say they're close to $600 when they're full price. I was lucky enough to get mine on sale and use a coupon as well. And I got it for around 430. So that was a really good deal for me. And I will leave shopping links down in the description below for you guys. So hopefully you will be able to get the same type of deal. But right now I want to talk pros and cons. So I have my phone here because there's a lot of pros and there's only a few cons. So first of all, I love this thing. I think it's great. It does a really good job of cleaning and I was really impressed with the mopping. Like, I am so glad I don't have to mop anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can trust this thing to do a pretty good job. Next, it is very satisfying to watch it clean all the dust bunnies under the couch. Like that was the main reason why I bought this thing 
was to clean under my couches and it did a fabulous job if you guys saw that part of the video. It's also pretty quiet when it's running around. You can hear it, which is good because you don't want the kids running around the house and like tripping over it. Although I'll probably run it when they're at school so I don't have to worry about that. It has a pretty long battery life. Today I had it charged at 100% before I did the full cleaning and right now I think it's at about 50 so and that is after mopping. It did really well. Something that I really like about it is that it has a rubber bumper all the way around it so if it bumps into your furniture you don't have to worry about it damaging itself or the furniture. It cleans really quickly once it gets going and it knows where it's going after you've mapped and everything then it actually goes pretty quickly unless you have obstacles or things like that in the way. It has highly customizable and accurate mapping. I'm really impressed with how well it mapped my whole house, like it has every room there. I love that I can block off rooms that I don't want the vacuum going into, and I can also place wet area zones that I don't want it to mop, like rugs and things, so that's really great too. It does a really good job of staying out of no-go zones that I've placed around the house, like I don't want it in my living room on this rug because it can get all tangled up with the type of rug that I have, and I don't want it to cause a problem. <laughs> so it could does a really good job of staying out of this room and any other rooms that I block off. I like that you can choose which rooms you want your vacuum to go clean. So if you have your app out, you can say you want it to go clean specifically the laundry room, the living room, and or the kitchen. Um, you can have it clean one room in many rooms. Like I love that it's so customizable like that. Another great thing is that my dog and my cat, they find it a very interesting item but they're not trying to sit on it like a lot of cats I've seen do. And uh, my dog doesn't bark at it. She gets really excitable when I'm using my Dyson. Um, but this vacuum, she just kind of like follows it around and she's happy about it. So that's a win. As I mentioned, the mopping was fabulous. It made my kitchen super clean, love that. And the biggest thing, I don't have to vacuum or mop as often anymore. Like that is, I'm just gonna leave it up to Lucy, which is what I named her. <laughs> Now for my cons, I have four cons. Um, I don't like how noisy it is when it is emptying into the bin and I feel like at night, especially if I was to have a night cleaning going, I think that that would wake me up because it's that noisy. My second con is that when I am watching it vacuum and mop, I get a little like uh, when it bumps into things like I wish that it wouldn't bump into things so much and had like some more ability, I guess, to see that there are objects in the way and to avoid them. Um, but at the same time, if it did that, then I guess it wouldn't be able to get into corners and baseboards as well. So mm, kind of a pro and a con. <laughs> One of the biggest things for me that are annoying about this item is that every time I want to clean a specific room or I wanna change up the mopping or anything, doing anything with the vacuum, it has to be returned to the dock first. So earlier when I changed it out from being a vacuum to a mop, I had to place it on the dock first and then I was, then I had to send it to the kitchen. So that was kind of annoying. Like why can't I just go into the app and say, clean the kitchen. <laughs> so that is a con for me. And my fourth con is that it is a high priced item, but this is a pro and a con. Um, I know that you get what you pay for and I'm very happy with this product. So I think it's worth the money. Do I wish it was that expensive? No. <laughs> so those are my pros and cons guys. I hope this video was helpful for you if you are looking to get this product anytime soon for Christmas, for birthday. Um, I highly recommend it. I love it and I hope that for a long time to come it will work for me and I won't have to replace it. <laughs> so I hope this video was helpful for you. If you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel while you're here if you're new. Thanks for watching!